Hello Seth, thank you for taking the time to do a video blog with us. Uh, our first question is, did you want to comment on our rollout of the pneumococcal vaccine in Burundi this week? Yeah, we're very excited about that, and so thanks for asking. Um, uh, Burundi will be the 10th African country that has rolled out pneumococcal vaccine, and um, they currently estimate it to have about 16 to 18,000 deaths a year in children from pneumococcal disease. So we're really excited to get these vaccines out and to be able to protect those children. Perfect. And there's an article in the New York Times today about WHO recommendations on how to combat NCDs that are cost effective. Do you want to comment on that? Well, it's interesting. A number of the things there are simple, what I would call no-brainers, things that changes you can make in public policy to try to make a healthy environment. And of course, having come from New York City, a lot of those changes have already been made here, so we're quite excited about that. But on the list is hepatitis B vaccine, which is a great success story. Hepatitis B is the major cause of liver cancer, and through vaccination, we've been able to, to prevent more than three million deaths in the developing world in the rollout of, of hepatitis B over the last a decade, and so we're excited about continuing that rollout and continuing to reduce those infections. What's not on the list, though, is HPV vaccines, and one of the reasons is that the cost of that vaccine has been quite high. Everybody knows that there's 275,000 deaths a year, and this could be a great vaccine to save lives. The problem is, is that because the, the, the price had been high, it didn't make it on cost-effective ground. So we were quite excited in our June pledging conference. We saw a reduction in price of two-thirds from the best available price now to $5 a dose. So our expectations is by continuing to work on shaping that market, we'll be able to get to a point where that vaccine is not only able to save lives, but is considered to be cost-effective in doing so. So thanks very much, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.